Sup guys, this is Heeking here bringing you a live reaction to the newest uh, Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. The official trailer is finally out. It's 7.30 in the morning. I got work in about, what, two hours? I'm so tired. <laughs> Slept early as well yesterday, just I couldn't be bothered to stay up till freaking one in the morning just to see this, but uh here we go, the trailer's finally out and now I can watch it. Um Got my coffee mug here ready. Technically a little bit of breakfast. Let's do this, let's do this. I've been looking forward to seeing this for ages and there's Loki going on suction on the door. I swear to god, Loki. Remember to like and subscribe guys. Remember to like and subscribe, let me just get him because he's gonna be annoying me. What I ask is 10 minutes of peace and quiet. 10 minutes. Can you give me that, buddy? Mwah. Give me that. Go, go in there, sit in there. Go, go and lie on the bed, please. Just lie on the bed. There you go. <laughs> Cover him up in the covers. And let's just watch this and hopefully he won't be making any noise. He's going to make a lot of noise, isn't he? Yeah, he's going for the door. He's not letting me do the trailer. Come on. Loki. He's gonna make scratching noises, it's gonna be annoying. Alright, here we go, guys. One, two, three. Oh. Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. Oh, cool. Did you botch that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider Man? We started getting some visitors. From every universe. Black suit awesome. Oh. They're gonna piss. There's out there. We need to send them back. So, Scooby Doo this crap. You know, all this is kinda your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, Scooby Doo this crap. <laughs> okay. You're flying out into the dark. JJ! To fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider Man. It's their the bomb getting launched. Yeah. Sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Look, there has to be another way. There is a There are danger to our universe. He's got the upgraded. Electro's got the trade. You're struggling. Listen, Sandman. What is that? What's happening? The statue. The so Doctor Strange is in the f <laughs> He is in the final battle then. Doctor Strange is in the final battle. He's at the he's there at the freaking Statue of Liberty. Okay. Um wow this trailer actually confirmed a lot of leaks actually. Uh oh my god. Oh my god, that was amazing. Uh <laughs> no Toby or Andrew. Are they even in the movie? They're in the movie. They have to be in the movie. Uh, there's there's a there's an international trailer. Let me let me watch this trailer again. And I'm gonna watch the international trailer. Um, holy shit, my mind, man. 
My mind is going, uh, wow, that was so much to take in. Fucking hell. I'm bloody overwhelmed, man. Um, all right. Starting again, guys. I'm rewatching this again. <laughs> Since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. I love the visuals here. I the visuals look great, I think, for a Spider-Man movie. And that's saying a lot. You botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man. We started getting. I love Goblin's got his mask on. Hello, Peter. I love this boy. <laughs> yes, he is, and yes, he's not. He's not your Peter Parker. I'm sorry. What was your name again? Doctor Otto Octavius. <laughs> Wait, no, seriously. What's your actual name? There are others out there. <laughs> Send them back. So, Scooby do this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please. Hmm. Scooby do this crap. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider Man. Right. It's their fate. That scene with the pumpkin bomb. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. But you're trying to save the villains. That's awesome. Are they attacking each other? Goblin's mask. I hate what the lizard looks like. I hate that look. I was hoping they would change it. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. This fucking trailer. <laughs> I'm so freaking overwhelmed. That was great. Like, even though they, Toby and Andrew went in this, just what they showed of the villains was freaking great. But, um, I want to cry, man. I'm so <laughs> emotional right now. Like, I can't believe we're getting. They didn't show a he uh, Hayden. Uh, was it, is it Thomas Hayden Church or Iris? Uh, Iris Rice Ir Irfries, I think what his name is, as Lizard. I'm starting to wonder if those specific characters are going to be CGI and and, the, and and those actors aren't even playing them, or if they are, they're just voicing them, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's a bit weird they wouldn't show them uh, to you as well. Uh, they probably are the two ca characters with the least amount of screen time. Uh, I want to pause it here and I'm going to go through this trailer, like to a breakdown, maybe. Um, this is crazy. Hold on, guys. Um, and we're back again for the Spider-Man No Way Home official trailer breakdown. What's the time? I've still got oh, an hour and 20, 19 minutes before I have to leave, so let's do this quick. Alright, let's start with the first shot. Alright. <laughs> Watch it again for the third time. So we got Peter in the rain. I feel like something serious has happened here. J end of uh, No Way Home, or technically an extension of, no uh, sorry, Far From Home's ending. Popular enemy number one. Why does he take it through the subway though? I guess the sense the helicopters are chasing us. So it's like that's escape for the subway. So both Goblin and and Doc Ock attack on the bridge. So this is gonna be like the first sequence of the movie, like the first major action sequence of the movie. Then and there's Electro attacking Spider-Man in a field, and I swear this is also where Sandman sort of pops up and saves him in that one shot. Maybe he's got the black suit on, which apparently is the normal suit. It's just inside out. So Doc Ock's already got like the nanotech. 
unless unless this is just for the trailer, for example, and 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 uh, they're tricking us, like because if you look at the shot here, when when the tentacle goes to attack P, it's already got like the the red colored look on it. So I'm I'm wondering, I'm wondering if this is just a trailer shot, and in the actual movie, he gets it off and he he dis dismantles the iron suit. And there's the Statue of Liberty with the Captain America shield. This was something that was revealed very early on. And this now confirms it. So a lot of the early leaks that we had are pretty much hardcore true about this. Spider-Man swinging for this sort of countryside. Okay, so... And there's Spider-Man with the suit and it's got the magic... It's got, he's got this magic gauntlet on, there's Electro behind him. So I'm assuming Peter captures the villains in one-on-one -on -one fights. So this must be the first appearance of Electro and Sandman in the movie, wherever this is. You got the Daily Bugle new stuff there. There's JJ. He's in it, confirming he's got a physical role in this movie. He's not just like a background character. He's going to appear on new screams. So this shot with Peter trying to—it looks like he's trying to catch a pumpkin bomb. This 100% is the scene where Aunt May dies. Okay, there's been a lot of r rumors lately that she dies in this movie. This is 100% of that scene. And I don't know how it happens. Apparently Peter's trying to help and save the villains. And then Goblin just goes... Norman goes nuts. Like the Goblin persona takes over. He goes nuts. He throws a bomb. He kills Aunt May. This is apparently Feast headquarters. I mean, it's the apartment. I don't know they live in. Uh, I mean, they yeah, they live in an apartment, don't they? Yeah, in... in, in, in well, unless they moved. I don't remember if they moved houses. But no, there's the bomb going off. I don't know if this is outside the apartment where Electro and them lot are. It looks like it might be. It might be. This might actually be outside where Sandman and Electro show up. Yeah, you, you can you see that shot with Aunt May running. It looks like it's the same same area building. She's running away from something. And there's Doc Ock grabbing Spider Man. You can see he doesn't have the nanobots here yet. And look. Oh, so this shot. Yeah, it looks like he gets the nanobots during this fight. Because the tentacles are AI and the nanobots are, well, are they AI as, they're AI as well, aren't they? So maybe something going on there and then it connects with Doc Ock and he takes them over. Look at that, that's amazing. There's Spider-Man going through some construction. This is the uh, Statue of Liberty fight. Look at Electro, man. Like, let's look at him properly. He's got, he's got the, his electric powers form the, form the freaking uh, star-shaped head, like, uh, helmet shape. That's awesome. I'm trying to see if I can get a clear shot of, uh, Jamie Foxx looks weird here. Um, he definitely looks, I want to say he definitely looks cooler than the blue, than the blue that we had in Amazing. No, no, I, I don't want to diss Amazing Spider-Man 2. I liked Amazing Spider-Man 2, but, uh, yeah, this, the vil it lo he looks a bit, he looks better here. It looks normal and he's got the electric powers. Like, you can feel the power raging from him so off. But it looks like he attacks Doc Ock here. Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit confused what goes on here. And this looks like an apartment building. This doesn't look like uh, the Statue of... I could be very wrong here. This does This does look like an apartment building or a skyscraper, not the Statue of Liberty, and Electro attacks him. So what is going on here? Is this where the villains escape, perhaps? Because, again, a lot, of, a lot of rumors, like, the villains are with Peter, and then they, they, they escape or something happens. And now this is the Statue of Liberty. You can see that. He's got the box thing. I can't believe they gave Goblin his mask back. Like, it looks freaking great. Like, it looks sinister. He's got the original outfit on. We know it gets upgraded over the course of the film. And it's battle damaged. So I'm assuming Peter screws shit up with the Goblin in this first fight that they have. And then the suit gets damaged. And then later on he gets the upgrade. Let me see. He's got the Razor Bats. I think, that, okay, this is Goblin. Uh, he doesn't have the mask. It doesn't look like he has the mask in the final battle. He do It does look like he has a hood on. And it looks like he's got the Razor Bats. He's got the Razor Bats. That's so cool. He's got the Razor Bats. I was kind of hoping we would see the Razor Bats again. He's got the Razor Bats. There's Happy, he's outside of what's happened. Yeah, Aunt May is 100% dead. He's 100% dead. I mean, that's the look of someone who's, who's like, do I think, am, am, maybe they're putting the body out and he sees it. And then uh, there's this big shot at the Statue of Liberty, Strange. Now, this could be edited. Strange might not even be in the fight. Oh, he is, and he's the one trying to do the spell to bring the villains back, like to take the villains back to the world. And there's Lizard, there's, there's Electro, there's Sad Man. So all of them are in the final battle. So this is a five villain versus battle. Now, who's Peter talking to? He's all bloodied. Is he talking to Aunt May? I think he's talking to Aunt May just before she dies. Jumping in. This is going to be the money shot. 100% look. There's three of them. There's three of them. This is 100% the money shot. And it's... 
probably the final movie is going to have Toby and... Because look, look at the location. This is the exact location where we got pictures of where Toby and Andrew, the leaked pics, are with him. Like, this is this is it. This is that location. You got the freaking ring bars and everything. This is the final battle. That picture we got of them months ago was them at the final battle. This is it. It confirms it, so... Sandman going for a punch, avoiding it, avoiding the electricity going down, the Statue of Liberty, the shield crushing coming down. So Ned and MJ are at the final battle. I'm gonna assume one of them dies, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's Ned. Okay, I've been saying since day one when they picked his character up a bit, uh, between him and Gonke, whatever. I always was like, why do you, why did you pick an actor that looks like Gonke and then just change his name to Ned Lees unless you're gonna, unless you're planning to kill him off in the, in, you know, in the movie, in the, in the, in, the, in, the, in the, like the last movie, like the third movie, like. I mean, it's got the construction stuff there, so it has to be this. Yeah, it is the Statue of Liberty. There is MJ falling. They're trying to give us Gwen Stacy flashbacks. No, this is definitely gonna be. They're tricking us. They're trying to make us think that it's uh, it's going to be MJ who dies. No, it's going to be Ned. It's going to be Ned who dies. So Doctor Strange is at the final battle now. Uh, is he going to sort of be like this, like the guy that's going to be in the background trying to undo the spell while the, everyone else fights, or what? Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. We got an international trailer to watch as well, so I'm going to watch this and go through that. All right, international trailer. Let's let's see how different it is. It's a minute long. And they're speaking of Brazil, Jesus. It's so weird listening to it in Brazilian. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was right. The money shot where they're all jumping at the villains. But Peter, well, one Spider-Man. And look at Lizard. Look at Lizard. Lizard's not even going for Tom Holland's Spider-Man. He's going for someone else. And Electro's going for someone else. And Lizard gets hit, like gets hit. He gets hit by something unseen. Look at that. He gets hit by something unseen. They're in it. They're in it. If, if, if you want to convince them in the movie, they're in it. That that confirms it. <laughs> That's so interesting that they would do that. Um, wow. Wow. Um, Seriously, man, that trailer blew, blew my mind away. Like, uh, the visuals look absolutely freaking great. Um, how, many, how many scenes have we... We've had, we've had, we've had a few good nighttime scenes, haven't we? Hopefully these were going to be good. But I, the team who made amazing... The, the team that did the visual the visual effects for Amazing Spider-Man 2 are doing the visual effects for this movie. And, yeah, you can just tell it looks freaking good. It looks good. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, and that's that. That's my reaction to all of that. Uh, that's crazy, man. Wow. I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, guys, remember to like and subscribe again. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.